All right, guys, this is a short one, but I feel it needs to be called out as we're likely to see it more and more, especially with Boris the bullshitting buffoon ready to go back on his word to the brainwashed sheeple. You know, by delaying the final unlock that, let's be honest, was always going to be delayed. They also claim that furlough will be ending on the 1st of July, which of course is just bullshit if you ask me. If they put an end to furlough, then they cannot put any more lockdowns in place, let me tell you that. Now obviously Boris Johnson has a bit of an issue because every report talking about delaying this unlock has comment sections full of people calling him out for lying to them. Now these are people who likely followed him and his restrictions until now, but are angry they've obviously been lied to, something we have known for a long time at this point. But the 21st of June being Freedom Day was literally always a pipe dream because let's not forget this is the 448th day of 14 days to flatten the curve or save the NHS, whichever one it was. If two or three weeks back then has become 15 months, then four weeks now could end up being three years and some of these people are actually seeing that. But I have to say, if this delay today doesn't show people that they've been taken for a prize winning cunt then I really don't know what else will. Now obviously, the narrative is already being shaped by snivelling shit weasels like Jeremy Vine, who posted a poll yesterday that actually backfired on him beautifully. He asked if the unvaccinated or vaccine refusers have let the country down, which is of course a bullshit question from the start, designed to create division and animosity between two groups. Though I think you would agree that it's pretty funny his rather woke followers for the most part did not agree with vilifying people making their own choices in life. His poll with three hours left had over 30,000 votes with 76.2% saying no and 23.8% saying yes. So nearly 24% of his followers are medical fascists not worth a wet wank on a Sunday morning, while the rest at least have some basic common sense and human decency you would expect. The fact that he even wrote that poll though is ridiculous in the first place, but obviously the agenda demands division because the people united is a dangerous situation for the elites of this country. This, in my mind, is purely a way to try and turn people on each other, friends on friends and family on family. It's obviously some seriously scummy behaviour and explains perfectly why the BBC employed Jeremy Vine. Now personally, I wonder if he'll be talking about this poll on his show today. I won't be watching it to find out, but it will be funny either way. If he shows it, we can laugh at him losing the poll and get him ratioed to fuck. And if he hides it, we can still laugh at his epic failure to set the narrative for his pay masters. Now naturally, if this was on the BBC, they would just make up the figures as you all know. In fact, weren't they caught out for doing that just the other day? Now guys, remember to check out my website that's linked down below if you have not already. You can sign up for free, chat to me and other viewers as you please. There will be more added to it as time goes on.